Greetings everyone, this is Curious again, back at uh, Fasting is Life and I just wanted to make a video I had certain questions and uh, based on the conversation I had with a friend of mine I decided to make a video for all of the people out there who are um, in a dark place and they don't know what to do I'm just gonna be straight to the point and I'm a very uh how should put this I'm very I'm a very blunt person. I'm usually a kinda quiet person but I I hate being sneaky and you know backdooring and all that stuff. I just like to go straight to the point. Here's the most important thing that any one of you out there who might be listening to this video need to realize. You came out in this earth in your body with your life right that's your gift the creator the most high a high i gave you your body is no no one else's responsibility but your own so if you cannot take care of your own body who do you think is going to take care of it if you can't love yourself who's going to love you more than yourself the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. What is the key phrase? If you hate yourself, do you think you're going to love your brother? The scripture says, give and you shall receive. What you give and what you do will come back to you. If you have hatred for yourself, how can you give someone love when you, you don't even have love within yourself? So, you need to realize that if you die today, it's you who's crossing over th that door to the other side, to the, to the nether realm, no one else. And your guardian angel will meet you. And he's going to ask, what have you done with your life before you go to your habitation? But you've been given a chance to be alive because they're dead, they cannot come back. Their bodies are warm. Your grandparents, your ancestors, they're warm, they, they became warm food. They're now bones, dust. They did what they had to do. What are you doing with your life? If you see yourself that you're worthless, you're nothing, guess what? The law of giving equals receiving. What you give to yourself is what you're going to get. But if you tell yourself, you say it, I need to get myself together. I need to change my life. Everyone around me hates me. They don't want to be around me. Do you know why? See, that's one thing I realize. The best thing that can happen to you is people hating on you. Why? Because you are between the crosshair to who you are about to become and we as people we are mirrors to each other so that's why i say how can you give someone love when you have hatred to yourself but when you have love guess what happens the mirror you will pull those who have the same image towards themselves because the law of exchange right what is the saying? Energy, right? Cause and effect. You cannot get negative if you're giving positive. Right? Because everything starts with you. You may give negative from other people. But if you have positive, that's why you give out. Because that's what you will get in return. And you may not come back from those people. Because they have not the positive things to give you. So I'm making this video to all those people who fit this criteria. You feel I'm overweight. I don't know what to do. I'm sick. I can't get up. I can't do anything. I'm lazy. I have anxiety. I have fear. I'm worried. I am weak. I have, uh, uh, I hear voices. I have Alzheimer's, I have cancer. The doctor say this, the doctor say that. I don't have the money. I don't 
all these things are on the outside. But if your mind is strong, your body will adjust and you will overcome whatever danger that you have. I'll use myself as an example. There are many people out there, thousands of people just like me, but I'll use myself. In March 20th, I quit my job, truck driver. I was like, I'm tired of this. Something just snapped at me. And then starting the month of April, after taking a break of just silence where I was just in my room doing nothing, just meditating, something came to me. Why don't you fast? Get yourself together, healing, because I was reading the scriptures and see all of my ancestors, the prophets, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Elijah, David, all the great people in the scriptures, even our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, whom the word calls Jesus Christ, which is not his name. They all fasted for self-discipline, healing, and mental clarity. To detox, detox, uh, to detox and remove all the sicknesses that could be in the body so they may be you know cleansed and ready to do their duties here in you know in the west talking about america a lot of people are sick and you know we're being poisoned left and right from the pharmaceutical to the food that we eat to our environment to the air we breathe Ask yourself, the average American, have you ever fasted in your life? Just even one day. No food, no water. And then you last seven days. Has any one of you out there have done it? Based on your questions, you that, that should tell you something. That you have not been given one of the greatest tools of Thousands of years of experience from great men and regular people who have practiced and done it. How long would you accept being a failure, weak, slow? How long will you allow yourself to be in an environment that's destroying your mind, giving you a slow suicide? Because it doesn't matter what people outside of you tell you. If your mind is strong, guess what? Nothing will stop you. Do you know how many people have been telling me that, oh, you're fasting. This is not good for you. The doctor said this. The doctor said that. Maybe you should take a break. Maybe you should do this. But here's the problem. It's been almost two months and I've lost, uh, six, uh, well, I lost over 60 pounds, but then I gained it back after taking some break. But who lost that weight? Nobody else but me. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? What if I would have listened to their voice? Would I have lost the weight that I have lost until now? I've gained all those weight over, the, over 10 years. And I was able to lose it in less than two months. That's an achievement. Even though I, I don't realize it. Just think about this. Let's say you're 500 pounds and it has taken you over 20 years to gain that. If you're able to lose 250 pounds in six months, that's, that's an achievement, man. That's an achievement. You see what I'm saying? Don't let your environment dictate your mind. That's the power of your mind. Meaning, I'm not saying you're not going to be attacked. That's the challenge. You're going to have family members tell you, the road you're taking, it's not safe. What are you doing? Do this, do that. They will tell you. But this is what I always tell people. I'm like, if I die today, are you going to die with me? If I die today, will you and I be crossing? We, do we have the same uh, guardian angel? Or do each one of us have its own angel that lead us when we pass over? So what are you doing in this life? is your responsibility because the scripture says when we stand in judgment you will stand without saying a word before the creator and the books will be open 
everything is going to be written. So there's no, you, you can't be, why? Because your guardian angels is keeping a record of everything. So I'm making this video, I didn't want this video to be long, but I believe there's a lot of people out there who are in dark places and in searching of some answers. I know my channel is more about losing weight, but lo the loss, uh, weight loss begins by you getting healthy and health begins in your mind. If your mind is sick, your whole body is sick. Clean your mind, renew your mind, and your body will follow suit. So if you if you appreciate this message and you think this message has helped you, please copy, share it to others. If you have somebody, family members who's thinking about losing weight and just don't know how and they've tried everything, please share this video and please subscribe so you may follow my journey of my weight loss. I'm, I've proven it. I haven't seen a doctor since 2004 and me finding out and experimenting with this lifestyle I was like I will never see a doctor ever again unless I chop my finger or something and I need a surgeon but that's about it so I wanna say peace and shalom to all of you we're in the awakening and the most high a high is waking up his people and i believe the inspiration that i've received is to help those who are in dark places and uh, if you have any questions please do not be afraid to contact me so we can talk one-on-one -on -one and i can give you some tips and some of my experiences i can give you some advice that you can use it for your personal growth there's a lot of sick people in America that need healing. They're spending thousands of, thousands of dollars going to hospitals, eating bad food, eating six times a day, seven times, 20 times. They're killing themselves. I call it slow suicide. Uh, hopefully Facebook, I mean, YouTube is not gonna flag this video by me saying the word suicide. But see, the truth has become the enemy because the enemy the enemies know that this message will heal you so do not be afraid to share this message you can play it with your family members everybody can see it i don't know i don't know have anything else to say but just to give you a word of encouragement there is a way out don't let the people who are who don't believe in you push you to a dark place there are there are some of us out there for you and we're here do not be afraid may the most high ahaya bahashim yeshaya will work that is the most high father ahaya in the name of his son yeshaya and the holy spirit will walk watch over you and destroy all those spirits who are pushing you to the dark place so you may overcome it and be healed healthy and strong that way to people who thought you were gone they will see your resurrection the resurrection of your mind peace shalom